In this Maya animation tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add cameras to your scene and then use those cameras to export image sequences. First, we need to create some cameras. In this scene, I already have some lights set up. So now all I need to do is add cameras. To do that, go to the Create menu in the top. Select Create, then Cameras, and for the first camera, let's select Camera. It will place a camera in the origin of your scene. But we can't see what the camera is seeing, so how can we do that? The easiest way is to select the two panel view. On the two panel view, the views are labeled on the bottom. This one is the front view, and this is the perspective view. The perspective view is the default renderable camera, so that is a camera that you can render to. The top, front, and side cameras are not renderable by default, meaning they don't output renders. To be able to look through the camera, select Panels, Perspective, then Camera 1. Now this scene is Camera 1. If I orbit in this scene, it's as if the camera is moving. I'll zoom in a little bit on this side to show you. There's the camera, and if I orbit in this scene, you can see that the camera moves. So I can orbit the camera so I can look at the cup. If I raise it up by panning, the camera moves up. This is the same as if I moved the camera like this. So if I move closer, the camera will zoom closer. So this is a great way to be able to position your camera. You can orbit around and look, and it's just like you're moving the camera. So I maybe want to start with my camera here. I'll move back to frame one, zoom out just a little bit. To better see what your camera will see in the render, you can click this button and it will frame it based on the aspect ratio of your choice. So now I can continue to refine my camera view. And I think this will work pretty well. Now I can keyframe all of its positions. I can select the Translate X down to Rotate Z, right click, key selected. Then I can move to the end of the animation, zoom in a little bit, orbit, pan, and now I'll have this view as the final view of the camera. Then I can shift click on all the translates, key selected. Now if I press play on the animation, we can see that the camera zooms in as the ball bounces. So this is a very easy way to add camera motion to your scene. By default, this camera is not set to be renderable. If I select the camera in the outliner, then I select the attribute editor. We can see on camera one, it has output settings and we can select renderable. This makes it a renderable camera. Now that we have a camera and camera motion, it's time to export a sequence of images of our animation.